This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Seven Kentucky Wildcats declaring for the NBA draft earlier this month. Three of them traveling around Pike County this weekend, signing autographs and taking pictures with fans. Well, the line wrapped around Deskins Motors for possible number one overall pick in this year's draft freshman Carl Anthony Towns. Towns made a stop in Pike County this afternoon to sign autographs and pose for pictures. He says seeing fans and smiling faces is his favorite part of this tour. It's the engaging with fans, obviously. It's the best part, knowing you're meeting new interactions, new fans that uh, you have never met before, and you get a chance to uh, brighten their day. That's the best part of my day, best part of these tours. It just shows how broad, how vast, and uh, how far away the reach BBN has. And uh, the state of Kentucky fully supports us, and we just love every single one of them. About 20 minutes down Route 23, Towns' fellow Wildcat teammates Dakari Johnson and Trey Lyles set up shop in the Appalachian Wireless store in downtown Pikeville right in the middle of Hillbilly Days to do the exact same thing. Sign autographs and get to know the fans. Both Lyles and Johnson agree when they step outside of Lexington, the fan support across the state is just as strong. Uh, it's great, you know, that's what we expected. You know, there are not just only in this state, there are many others. And you know, they're just coming out and supporting us. Uh, it's great, it's great, because, you know, um, usually these people can't come up to Lexington and come to some of the games, but just knowing that we have fans across the, uh, the whole Kentucky is just great. Springtime means spring football games for some schools, and Thursday night, the U Pike Bears held their annual spring game. The Bears were rocking their new black and white jerseys for the game, and the black team finished with the win over the white team. But they all knew it was not about winning or losing. It's about getting some in-game experience for the younger players. But you can't deny the competitive nature of it. You know, I was on the white team. We obviously didn't win to the scoreboard. But uh, I feel like overall the offensive line is getting a lot better. You know, we're, we're, taking, we're taking steps, you know, to being a real great team. And, it, it, you know, it starts with the O-line, I feel like. I feel like uh, we've really took some steps forward. It really helps, like, most of the younger guys that have never been in game situations. It helps them get ready for, you know, the fall. You know, it, it, you can't say enough how much that helps them. The EKU football colonels are halfway through their spring practice drills, and this morning the Maroon conducting their first scrimmage. Coach Dean Hood said so far this spring his defense has been ahead of the colonels' offense. But today at Roy Kidd Stadium, the passing game came alive. Hood was pleased with how the quarterbacks threw it and how the receivers fought off press coverage and came down with the catches. The pleasant surprise, I just thought our quarterbacks really threw the ball well. I thought our receivers caught the ball well. Uh, and it was, uh, it was good from a standpoint of I didn't think there was, there, we had a couple blown coverages, uh, but for the most part it was guys right there stride for stride and the quarterbacks putting the ball on the money and the receivers going up and getting it. And that was good because that was one problem we had, you know, last year was executing in the passing game at crunch time when we needed it. And Matthew, that is sports. All right, Lauren, thanks a lot. We'll be right back after this.